Okay, guys, listen, this is one of my favorite things to do with a puppy. Uh, you know, there's a, a million food puzzles out there, and, uh, you know, a lot of them are real cool. I've had them all, mil you know, Buster Cubes and, and all those Buster Cube variants and knockoffs. They're cool, you know, but I know, you know, a lot of you, you don't have an extra $15. You don't have an extra $30 to spend on these fancy uh, uh, you know, cubes and balls and, and food puzzles and battery-operated apparatuses. You know, so, hey, listen, this is just as good, guys. Um, I wish I could take credit for it, but I, see, uh, I, I saw this, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago. Somebody was doing it, and I thought, wow, what a great idea. You know, watch this little puppy. Did you see right there where he's getting that uh, uh, treat? And he's trying to manipulate that uh, jug in such a way that that treat comes out that hole in the bottom corner. That's why you only want one hole. Because I want him to have to twist and turn and carry on and really come up with a strategy for how to get that uh, treat to come out of that jug. And uh, watch him investigate there. See, he's going back down there where he's got the, he can hold it onto the top. And sometimes he'll grab the handle and sometimes he'll paw at it and chase it around the room. Now, you know, one thing is a safety consideration I will stop and say is uh, I, I do take the, the cap off of the milk jug. You know, and you would think all the food would fall off, but it really doesn't because the milk jug doesn't ever really get tipped up on its end. So, you know, you don't really get the food kind of getting strewn all about. But more importantly, the puppy doesn't uh, get fixated on the cap and then somehow or another chew the cap off or unscrew it and, and end up swallowing it. You know, that's, that's about the only safety concern I can see. I've seen people, you know, make the mistake of leaving the cap on there. And, I, you know, I, I don't think that's quite as, uh, quite as good a strategy. But look at this guy. You know, this is his first day. This puppy's never seen this thing before. Uh, normally, I give him a Kong, and uh, today I decided to leave his Kong on the floor uh, because he's chewed on it a little bit, but it's not stuffed with anything. And then to uh, put his rewards into this uh, milk jug and just to see, see, you know, how much does he like uh, the milk jug? Does Will the Kong drag him away from the milk jug? I love experience, experimenting like that. I want to see, you know, like... Uh, uh, which toys really are the most efficacious. And look, I mean, he's just really having a ball with this milk jug. Watch, he's about to knock it over here to where his Kong is. And uh, he thinks about going to that Kong. Watch him. Yep. Ah, he says, I'm going back to the milk jug. <laughs> so right there, I mean, that Kong cost $13. That milk jug, I got it out of my neighbor's trash because it's trash day today. <laughs> I don't drink milk myself, but uh, so, you know, I had to rob my neighbor. But there you go, guys. Uh, that's a milk jug. Cost me nothing. Trip to my neighbor's driveway, uh, and it just beat out my $13 Kong. So get out there and, and, and do your work and, and be economical and uh, have a good time. Don't, get, don't let the market get you down.